It's time for the circle. You're now, you're now tuned into the most unpredictable podcast on the World Wide Web. Yo. It's about to shut it. Shut it. It's Sam's Loud, hosted by Karen it's Karen Hell live on Sand Loud Radio on your favorite internet platform streaming live. It is another episode of Sand Loud. I'm so excited to bring you. Dun, da, da, da. I got a sound pad. I should probably have played that. Um, Miss K Jones of She Orgasms is in the Sand Loud hot seat. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that one. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on. Uh, hi, K. How are you? Hi, I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I mean, I'm hanging in there. I really can't complain. We get to have a um. Look, look, look. I'm gonna play for you. Um, I'm having a really good time just enjoying life right now. Like everybody else is mad about COVID and I'm like, it's giving me a lot of time to work and uh, read and learn and take my she orgasms, uh, supplement. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't complain. It's been a gift and a curse. I like guess it's, it's not, we're not living the everyday life, but I'm getting to do many, so many things that I love. So I'm not really complaining. What about you? Same. I actually have had um 2020 was my best year just as far as growth um self work um business it just was an amazing year <laughs> so um, i'm beautiful. just trying to continue the energy into 2021 now that you know i'm continuing my self work and always making sure that i am my best self and i am living by my design so it's going to be a, an amazing 2021 i love well. it Throw some of that energy this way because I could use that. Um, so I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if everybody knows about she orgasms, right? I, I posted I told people to go do their research, but can you tell my listeners and fellas, don't tune out because y'all need to know this too. And I have a lot of guy listeners. Um, but what is she orgasms and how did you start? Okay, so I'm going to start with how did I start and then go into what she orgasms is. <clears throat> okay. So my history, it all started with my sex blog. I was writing a sex blog called Melanin Milk, and it was basically like the black cosmopolitan, but very graphic, very detailed, even visuals. So <laughs> I had a really big um, fan base from my sex blog. And through my sex blog, I had a lot of women come to me with their personal situations about how they're just not having good sex. Like they're not getting satisfied. They're, they feel like sex is a chore. They don't come from penetration. You know, their mind is all over the place. It's just so, so mm. many things. And I was just yeah. like, oh no. I mean, I actually was devastated because I'm thinking everyone was out here having sex like me. Like I was just like, and here I am thinking I was the best. Like I think right. all of think that. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> thinks they're the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely was like, well, I'm going to make something, but it ain't going to be for me. It's going to be for everybody else who need help. Right. Who need help. So then, so then when, when I created it, um, I... I did a lot of research. Um, it was a lot of different herbs that can help with the overall experience, but I wanted certain things that didn't have any dramatic side effects. So I eliminated anything that had anything dramatic um, or anything that made your heart race too much or made you feel jittery. Right. I even looked for things that had side effects like sensitive nipples wet mouth, um, side effects that could put me conveniently. I'm going to need that. <laughs> like, don't mind that at all. So um, I did some trial studies with some women and one of the formulas came back phenomenal. And I was like, Ooh, all right, this is it. So I got a second job. I was working a desk job at the time doing like office work. And then I got a bartending gig in the right after that, just to, so I can save up the money to start She Orgasms. Wow. So once I had the idea, it all came to me like, 
almost like a download, right? Like it was almost like once the idea came to me, everything else started to fall into place. So I was hungry. I was eager. I was like, oh, this is going to be big. I felt it. I knew it. I knew it was going to be great. So boom, it started. I, I I quit my bartender job after about four months. I had about, I mean, it wasn't even that much. I think I saved, I saved about $3,500 or something, but that was enough for me to do all the things that I needed to do. I think a lot of people get stuck on like thinking, oh, I need tons of money to start a new business or I need this, I need that. But really when the idea comes to you and it's an authentic, genuine idea that was, that was given to you, not something you're trying to do for the money. Right. Every- is going to come to you. It's, it's going to work its way out. So that's kind of how it started. And then I went on a podcast for Melon and Milk Cocktails podcast. And I took that opportunity to plug She Orgasm. So I was like, oh, I'm working on this um, new product. I'm going to give it to you guys. See if you like it, test it out, whatever. And uh, one of the girls, Kiki, Ended up loving it. I mean, she would just talk about it on her podcast casually. So people were like, what are you talking about? What is that? What What is that? And that's how I blew up. Wow. It was all because of the Cocktails podcast and her talking about it. And then word of mouth just spread. Once you take it, it's mm-hmm. just like you, your homegirls tell you to take something. You obviously going to take it. So right. Right. word of mouth just spread it like crazy. That's um, great, though. Oh, amazing. So then once I sold out of my first little batch, I was able to keep on flipping, you know, keep on flipping yeah. and bigger flips, bigger flips, and then bigger flips. Um, so what she orgasms is, is a natural supplement to enhance the entire sexual experience from focus to desire to increase lubrication, total body arousal, um, blood flow to the clearest, the height in the, the um, climax is going to just do all the things. I mean, for some w- women, it gives them a lot of energy. For some women, it really get the floodgates going. Mm-hmm. Like so it kind of, she orgasms, I like to believe it customizes per person. So with what your body needs, it's almost like she orgasms, jumps in and they're like, I got you. Because some women, <laughs> some women don't even like their nipples sucked because they don't mm-hmm. feel anything, right? So maybe your nipples are going to be more sensitive, but someone else, it wasn't that sensitive. Maybe you're going to feel um, it right away. And some people, it takes a few weeks. It takes a few days. It takes a few hours. It just really depends on your body and what it's ready to receive. And and even, you know, I even tell people, I can do all this other stuff. I cannot give you someone who you like. Because right. if, you, if you're having sex with someone you don't like, yeah. or you're not a match with, or you're just not in it or interested, I can't it's help not gonna work. Right. It's not going to work. A pill, a supplement, a miracle. None of that is going to help you if you're engaging in sexual activity with someone who doesn't give you life. Right. 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 You can't force that. You can't force that. It ha- you have to be connected in some kind of way. I can't give you connection, but I can give you all the other things. <laughs> <laughs> so how has the feedback been so far? Girl, I mean, so this is really what drives me every day is the feedback daily. I get daily reviews, daily emails, daily DMs, daily comments of women who are grateful, thankful, honored, blessed, happy, fulfilled, and pleasured okay <laughs> i um so every time i do it so you know i've been following you um and i uh supplements but i re- so i always do my due diligence when i do an interview and i went and joined your facebook community <laughs> oh my god i was like i was like yo what i've been missing it's like I was I, I I I'm more excited about taking it just being in the room with those women. Like they writing stuff in there. I'm like, what is the t- I had to what is the teacher coming back? What is it? Cause I'm so like just like that community in itself. I'm a, I don't like Facebook. I really don't like Facebook. My grandma on there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really want to be on Facebook. But I in your community, the energy in that room, and it's a virtual space, and the energy of women just being able to share their experiences, what's going down tonight, where I'm going on vacation. Like, uh, you know, I just I was like, yo, this gotta be something because there's no way everybody in here is just we can't all be crazy. So it gotta work. 
It got away. I'm, I'm waiting like a crackhead. I'm like, when, when is dropping? I have goosebumps right now because I, oh, that I almost want to cry because your words, it's literally what I've been wanting, what I want, and what I want to represent, and how I want the image of she orgasms and the image of K Jones and the image of my she OGs to be that uh, just good ass energy, like a vibe. Yeah, and I agree. Everyone, like, I'm actually obsessed with the people in my group. Like, they're amazing. I don't even have to respond to people. Like, my the people in the group are like answering questions for me, sharing things. I mean, they're very open, very honest. I mean, talking about um their their diseases, their illnesses, or something that they've overcome, or just yeah, this yeah. No, I was it. I'm I I just I was blown away. I was blown away at how vocal people were, how comfortable they were, how secure they felt. Cause like those are all big things when you think about sex and and vulnerability. Even with a bunch of women, it's still you know a place where you you don't like I don't know you, but it, I go in there and I look at the things now and I'm like, oh my god, like I'm either dying laughing or I just want to hug them. Yeah. You know what I'm, oh, I'm like, damn, she getting something tonight. Look, they going away. I don't even know these people, by the way. Um, <laughs> you can invest it. You can do that. It. <laughs> we need uh-huh. to do this. I get a we. We need to do that. <laughs> you know, yeah. so um, I think that in itself, to me, that's the biggest sell, you know, mm-hmm. because um, I know what it does, but for, for so many people to be supportive and just be in a space like that, I think that's really dope. Yeah, I I am honored. I'm very happy that you know the in my inner self is portrayed in my outer reality, right? Yeah. So you see a lot of people who have a lot of chaotic chaos, drama, just so much going on in their spaces, and it just is a representation. And I, yeah, yeah, of what you are putting out there because you create everything. Like I specifically wrote in my journals how my Facebook group was going to be. I specifically oh, wow. wrote it. I got to do that then. Yeah, I set my intentions for everything. When you're intentional, you know yeah. what to expect, right? That so, was my 2021 um, show and and show after show for the, for the new year was really just to set my intention, what I want for my personal life, what I want for my career, what I want for my business, what I want with my kids. Um, because I feel like when you, when you have a clear vision about what you want, it's a lot easier to, mm-hmm. it. and so, um, so that's what I've been sharing with a lot of my listeners, like just set your intention and your purpose and be clear in what you have also around you. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? So mm-hmm. tell us some more about the other products that you have uh, besides just the, the pill. Absolutely. So we have the, sh- the rum honey tincture, which is the liquid form of she orgasm. So it's going to work quicker, harder, and <laughs> deeper. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that's what everyone seems to be after. Everyone is commodity over the rum honey tincture. Like I almost, so it's such a tedious thing to make. Um, so I only have it occasionally because if I'm going to keep delivering such a great product, I have to continue my process. Like if I try to cut it, or change my process, I could potentially change the greatness and the efficacy of the rum honey rum honey tincture. Right. So it's a long process. So I know people are annoyed waiting for it. And like it, I'm actually about to put, I'm bottling it up probably 30 more. I have 30 more. So I'm gonna put 30 more for my Facebook girls. Like I'm like, there's 30 on the website, go get it now. Um, but then that's gonna be it until around Valentine's Day when I can finish it. So then we have okay. the sheet. Well, I'm on which, your Facebook. Ha ha ha, lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so you'll be able to grab one. Um, and then we have She Fresh, which is a Borg suppository that you put in your vagina, your vaginal canal, and um, it's going to reset your pH back to normal. So whenever you're feeling a little off or you have um, a bacterial infection or a yeast infection or something, or you just know that it's not your normal everyday vagina smell or feel, um, you use the She Fresh one night normally does me right, but you can literally use it for 30 days straight if you have a more serious problem or issue or whatever. But you can literally take she fresh one night and it'd be like night and day. Like, huh? <laughs> okay, I want that. With the, 
<laughs> light shining. <laughs> after a period, like I like to use She Fresh after my periods because it kind of flushes it completely, oh, yeah. like the residuals and everything. Um, so then next I have a self-pleasure journal, which is um something I wrote. Um, and it's so crazy because I did it a long time ago before I even did She Orgasms, or but I decided to redo it and put it in a a better form, I guess, and sell it on a website. But it's going to help women get connected to their femininity, like kind of understand what what their relationship is with sex. Like some women who don't know how to touch themselves or don't touch themselves or never even put their fingers inside of them like they only do surface or they've never seen it. They don't understand why they feel a certain way about certain things regarding sex. So it's a 90 day reflection journal. It's going to ask some really intense questions in the, in the beginning and the end and in the middle, there's short stories, there's activities. It's the dope ass journal. And I haven't even been advertising it, but I think someone's spreading it word of mouth because they're selling like constantly. I think that's useful. I think there's a lot of things that we need to reflect on sometimes. And we don't we don't necessarily do that work until after. Right. Until we're in a place where we're like, why do I what's going on? Why do I feel? Why do I think this way or what my hang ups are with sex? And so I think somewhere to reflect on that is is healthy. You know, that's a conversation you need to have with yourself, you know, and what your hang ups are and what your your ideals are. And where did you learn that? Mm -hmm. And where did you learn it? Mm hmm. So a lot of that journal um, is very deep. And I think a lot of women can benefit from it. Um, And then uh, next to that, oh, and I'm about to start selling my own bottled water, bottled alkaline water, because along with she orgasms, I realize a lot of women don't drink water. So they think that the pills are just supposed to work. (laughs) Yeah, I saw that when I was in the group. It was like, take two and then drink a lot of water. Well, I always, I mean, you just told me I have a water here, but like, I, you don't I don't, even, I don't know if people know how to take it. Do they know how to take it? So, and, and it's not even about drinking a lot of water, but some women just don't drink water. Like they, they either drink a little bit, you know, here and there, but I didn't realize how many women weren't even drinking at least four glasses of water a day, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, no, it's true. Minimum. So if you're not, you know, um, drinking your fluids, you've never taken herbs before, um, you have a lot of um, mental trauma, body trauma, um, it may affect the way she orgasms works for you. Yeah, well, that's going to affect anything. Oh, right. Exactly. Yeah. How does it work for you? This is a, that means that there's blockage. You got blockage. So, so it don't matter. What I give you, if you have blockages there that are are bigger than 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 you know, yeah, exactly. So um, along with the water, um, we have earrings like cute little I am she earrings that represent the woman. Um, and yeah, we used to have yoni soap. I'll be getting yoni soap back, but as of right now, that's pretty much. Um, what's on the website, but all of the products speak for themselves. Like they're all high quality items. Like I make sure that what I put out is something that I want to use all the time. It's something that I have invested a lot of thought, time, energy, and I'm giving you the best of the best. Like I'm not going to buy the cheap bottles because they were on sale. Like I'm going to get quality, quality because that's what I want. That's what we all deserve is the best of the best. Absolutely. So what do men need to know about she orgasms? They could potentially take it too, because honestly, yeah, because the herbs I use were very much used in men and for men. Right. Um, But when you think about it, we kind of are both doing the same thing. (laughs) Like we both need in in a sense. Right. Um, As far as the reproductive system. They're very, very similar. So right. um, I just found ones that were also good for women. And that, because I specifically needed things for each category, right? 
for the focus, for the energy, for the total body arousal, for the blood flow to the clitoris, for the increased lubrication. So for a man, it's going to give him a lot of energy. It's going to make him go in like a, like a just <laughs> a lion, right? He's probably going to bust a really big, I wanted to say delicious, a really big nut. You can say delicious, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was really inappropriate. So I, like, I mean, you know, a really big nut. Um, and he's definitely going to enjoy, especially the rum honey tincture. Um, I know women have let their men try it. I even have men who order she orgasms for themselves on the regular. Um, I'll be <laughs> rebranding soon. Um, to have it be a little bit more discreet for people who don't want to see she orgasms, right? They want something that's a little bit more um, PG, something that's a little bit more friendly to the way the world and the um, society the cabinet is. Yeah. If I leave them out, got it. Yeah, and also for the men, right. That decide to take it, you know, want to feel comfortable as well. Mm -hmm, but it wasn't ever about them. So I don't actually okay. care. So <laughs> If they don't want it to say she orgasms, they can go buy it something else. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I'm yeah. a woman and I'm here to make sure that the women are getting the pleasure they deserve. Men always get their nut. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Y'all going to be all right. Y'all can go to the gas station, get one of them pills and be good. Um, so I really wanted my focus to be on the woman, which is why I didn't make a male supplement, which I can and I might. Right. But... I don't know if it aligns with my purpose. So, all right. So, how are how does she orgasm? And I know we just kind of talk, um, empower women with sexy, healthier sex lives outside of just taking the supplements. Like, how do we empower women using something like this? Okay, so I think when women can have good sex, they um, they connect to their divinity a little bit more, right? They get a little bit more confidence. They feel sexy. You know, they're satisfied. They're kind of in a better mood because if you, if I'm having good sex, I'm more than likely to do your laundry. You know, I'm more <laughs> likely to make you a really good meal. I'm yeah. more likely to, to do it with, with enthusiasm, right? Because yeah. I'm going to do all those things, but to do it and want to do it with enthusiasm, not the same. Imagine how peaceful relationships would be if there are if everyone's satisfied. Because women used to and still are walking uh, walking away from sex, like okay, well, all right, I'll go and do the dishes. Like, like they it just how much more versus something in some cases that women want to actually do. They feel yeah. more obligated to do it, or they're doing it and they're not a hundred percent satisfied. And that's exactly. real too, you know, that they're just not satisfied and they're not saying they're not satisfied. Yeah. So I feel like um, she orgasms is the stepping stone to how I want to empower women, but I'm actually working on something bigger than that. So um, can't go into much detail about it now, but it's <laughs> definitely something that's going to change humanity, especially for the women who are going to be able to experience what I'm about to put out, right? So it's going to change. Exciting. Yeah, it's going to be big. So you definitely want to stay tuned because I'm, I was almost nervous because I was like, why am I being called to do this? Why do they want me to do this? I don't want to give, I don't want to do this. I don't, it's such, it's going to be something that is going but to you, force my calling. Huh? Mm -hmm. It might be your calling. Right. And it is. And I never had that. I don't even think she orgasms called me like this. That was just more like a, an idea that I got all the information for. And then I went and did it called me but like this right here. This right here is different. It's almost like, I don't know the answer. yet. So now I'm working on figuring out how to implement it how to make it be great so that people can receive the information. So um, just stay tuned, girl. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's next. I'm excited to see how uh, the women in your community like receive it. You know what I mean? And kind of uplift each other in, in, in doing that. Um, what do you think some of the hangups are in sex that people have? Like when, when would, when was 
like I should be just getting this done? Is there a time that it's best for you to take it? Is there an age group? And then how do I take it? Because I have some. I'm like, I just want to make sure I'm taking it right. Okay. Um, wait, there was four or three questions. So the first yeah. <laughs> the first question, it kind of was breaking out. What was the first question? Well, my first question is, how do we take she orgasms? Like, how do we take these supplements? Are we taking them every day? So that's the thing with herbal supplements. You got to do what um, works for your body. So I suggest, I tell people to take it for the first few days, do two or one every day for at least a week or at least three days just to see if you feel something or if you if you um, have a reaction that you don't like or, you know, whatever the case may be. But you want to take it and see how it works in your body. People take it daily and some people only take it right before sex. But those are the people who's tried it and they understand if you felt if you took a pill and you felt it, you're good with just taking it right away. Right. Like or okay. right before sex. So I don't take my my she orgasms every day anymore. I just pop like three or four before I'm about to do something extra. Um, and I want to be dramatic and really handle <laughs> <laughs> dramatic because That's, you know being at your best exactly sometimes i want to destroy him and some days <laughs> i have like a casual love making session right so i don't take it when i'm trying to do all that because I, I want it to last all night and anywho but um yeah. <laughs> so well, you can know that's actually yeah. good to know yeah, so you can take it daily for your, like, say you take it daily because you like the way it, it increases your mood or enhances your mood and increases your energy. So you take it daily in the morning or you take it at night because you just want to increase your sexual experience for that night. Okay. Yeah, so you can choose. All right, that's interesting to know. Um, my next question is like, how do we empower women with this? Like, is there a point in time where you feel like it's best to be taken a certain age, maybe after having babies or is there a particular time or is it just something like you can take anytime you want? You can literally take it anytime you want because your vagina is always doing the same thing. She's just chilling. It doesn't matter if you 80 or you're 24 or you just had a baby or didn't have a baby. If you just got off a flight, if you about to take a bath, like it just really doesn't matter. Like you can take it. But the one thing I will say is that it keeps some people up. Like if you take it later at night, it's hard to go to sleep because you're amped up, like you're ready to go, right? right. So if you're not getting put to bed, you're going to be <laughs> kind of forced to stay up a little longer. So you got to have a partner that can put you out. Okay, that's fair enough. I like that answer, by the way. <laughs> 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 right. right. You going to spend the night. All right. <laughs> That's how I see that going. Um, but no, I like it. I've been taking mine every day and I, I don't really feel like I'm having problems sleeping. Like I don't feel I'm, I'm not having sex either. I'm just taking it as a, as a supplement to see what happens. Um, do, you do solo play? Like, do you masturbate? Um, yeah, I have all these toys here because one of my sponsors is Sweet Vibrations. So I have all these toys here. So I actually try all of them. So I'm like, nah, but those are not for the week. Those are for real. Like, you got to be like, yeah, them, the motors on those ain't no joke. Those are not like, oh, we're going to play nice. They don't, they, they, you know, these for these, these big girl toys. <laughs> so I don't see how people are putting it on like the third and fourth and fifth level. Like when it goes in, it's like, zzz, zzz, zzz. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, getting that on your clit at that third level. <laughs> Yeah, like no, these are these are no joke. These are serious. Like if if you ever had toys and they didn't work, cause these these are gonna work. You're these funny. Are gonna work. Yeah, because <laughs> no, I've had toys before. I'm like, this is boring. Like I'm boring myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, but what I wanted to do was take my she orgasms and then use my self play and see how that works together. So that's, that's the plan. Cool. I'm doing my my seven days of taking it first and then on my seventh day, I'll celebrate myself. But I really feel like, um, for me, I've, I wanted to ask you too, like, do women feel like I don't need that? Cause oh, I feel like that always with sex, people are like, nah, I don't need that. I'm this, I got WAP, I got so, and I'm sitting there like, but if you, if it could be better, if you know that there's something that can make it better, 
Okay. Why wouldn't you try at least? And not to say that it's bad, but you could just be better. It could be better orgasms, more intense. Like, why are we not open to have those discussions? Girl, can you please give me the answer? It's almost like some women get defensive as if it's like, so, and this is just some raw, uncut honesty. So whenever someone gets defensive about something, it's because something is true, right? Mm -hmm. If someone's like, you are so selfish, you don't ever do it. And you're like, I'm not selfish. Da, 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 da. It's like, wait, but why are you so mad? Think about why you're so mad. Because if you, if you weren't selfish, why are you mad? Right. But you may be, there's a little bit of hostility in there, right? So I feel like the women who have a problem understanding that um, are just, because I don't want to feel like I'm saying anything bad about women no. because we all go through our struggles of figuring out ourselves. But there's right. someone who haven't reached the point where they can see beyond their norm, beyond what they have, beyond what they can see is tangible or beyond what they know exists. So since they don't, since they think that they're having the best sex they've ever had, they think that no other place exists. Right. And I'm there's nothing trying, better. Right. I'm just trying to show people that there's more room at the top. Like it's a never ending release. The orgasmic level is so high. It just has to be, it goes along with your inner self. It goes along with how much work you've done. Like when you've reached the point aligned to your design, the type of frequency your orgasms create is beyond anything. So putting a cap on anything is ridiculous. So putting a cap on your pussy is like saying, oh no, I'm good. I don't want no more. I don't want to be, I don't want to feel the greatness that the-, the Yeah, but at that know. point, you're just cruising at 65 miles, 55 miles an hour when you actually Ooh. could be at 120 is what I'm saying. And Same for me, that's the part I don't understand. I'm like, well, if you know, like this could be good and then better and then best, why would you not want to do that work? And again, it's not like you said, it's not just about taking pills or just about your partner. It's about doing that work on yourself too mm -hmm. and aligning mm -hmm. yourself so you can be at a place where you're like, okay, I want to enjoy this to the full ex extent and I should be, and, I, and I'm comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. Even men, there's been some men who's tried to buy she orgasms as a gift to women, mm -hmm. taking it as disrespect, as like an insult as if something's wrong with them, but nothing is wrong with any of us. Like we have to come to a point where we accept everything about ourselves because we're all uniquely different. If we try to do what worked for someone else, it may not work for you because you may not be designed that way for that to work. So it's just, a, it's a lot of, this is kind of what I'm working on for my next my next phase is it's called the orgasmic language and it's, it's going to teach women how to do all of this right how to get to the place where they can not be all appear in their head and be more in their body right i love that i think that's great i think that knowing the steps to do that and having someone to teach you how to do that um is a benefit because we don't have enough of that we don't have enough people teaching women or men for that matter, um, just how to be one with their self and how to enjoy their self and how to go ahead and masturbate. And, and, and then now take what you've learned and share that energy with somebody else. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's what we, I think that's where we need to carve out a space to be open-minded and like comfortable in our skin to be able to do that. Yeah. I would love that day. Like, I feel like that's my calling, like is to, um, and, and I like to, I like to say I'm the happiest woman that I know. Okay. I like that. It's literally the truth, but it's, um, it took a lot of work, a lot of pain, a lot of tears, a lot of fight, a lot of strength, a lot of reading, a lot of journaling, a lot of talking to people and asking questions. It took a lot of work and a lot of women don't have time to do it. Don't think they have the time to do it. Don't they have the, the fear holding them back. They have anxiety holding them back. You know, they have nervousness holding them back. A lot of women suffer from nervousness, fear, and anxiety. 
And I just want to eliminate that from us and show us that there's another world where the whole world is set up about, is set up because of a woman's womb, because of, because of sexuality, because of us. Do you know how much power we have? We should definitely all be happy. <laughs> all right. No, it's true. It's definitely true. I agree. We should, we should, and we should be able to embrace that. Embrace yeah. it, embrace us whole. Like, I'm gonna embrace when I'm, you know, when I'm having my emotional wave. Like, I have emotional waves, and I and I've now known to accept it instead of getting frustrated with myself. Like, get up and do something you don't ever want. Like, just just chill, sit back and, and observe. Your body's gonna going to move when it needs to move, it's going to speak when it needs to speak. And we like to force ourselves and let our minds tell us that we're supposed to be doing this. We're supposed to be doing that, dictating everything, right? right? Instead, the mind isn't supposed to be used to tell you what to do. It's just supposed to be used for research and maybe uh, keeping your stories and your memories, watching things play out. That's you know, the conditioning we're all in. We're all conditioned yeah. to keep going. It's so funny you said that because I was talking to someone today and I was like, you know, I haven't felt very creative lately. And I'm a very creative person. And I was like, I think it's, and they were like, you know, maybe you need to sit still. And I'm like, I don't know, because I'm always working. And it was like, yeah, but in order to be creative, you have to give yourself a space to feel creative and think creative and not force to create. It's almost like mm -hmm. if someone tells you to paint a picture, but if they put you on the spot, you can't paint it. But if you just leave me be and let it come to me, I can do it. And so sometimes we just have to allow ourselves to that process. You hit it. They hit it. That's exactly it. It's beautiful. Yeah. And so that's where I'm at, just allowing myself to um, enjoy what comes naturally and what's my calling and embody that and and really support other women and empower us, because I do feel like there needs to be more of that. There oh, definitely yeah. needs to be more women um, just loving on each other and, and sharing and growing life and businesses and partnerships and friendships, because I just feel like there's not, e there's not enough. We're always sitting, I, I do a relationship podcast. We're always sitting talking about relationships, mm -hmm. but it's like, there's so many relationships out outside of your romantic relationship. Yeah. And I um, want to say that there are a lot of women who are doing that, right? But not everyone is going to be a vibrational match to receive those people. This is true. So this they exist. They just sometimes people are just living so conditioned. They'll never be in the right place at the right time around the right people. And even if they are around the right people, they may not see those people or meet those people because they're not a vibrational match. So I used to think that too. I used to think like, um, and even just recently, but then now, um, I've been meeting a lot of communities where the women are really doing their thing and it's genuine. They're really wanting to help women. You know, they're really wanting to, um, be resources. And it was so beautiful. I mean, I think I told like four women within this week, like, thank you for being who you are and really genuinely wanting to help other people who, who aren't where you are. Right. Um, it, black women. And it, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Yeah, no, it's dope. I, and I agree with you. Some people are just not, they're just not your people. Yeah. You know, it's, not a, it's not a bad thing. It's not to talk somebody down. It's just, they're just not your people. Not every group of people is going to be your, and that's okay. That's you know, okay. You'll find your people as you navigate life and navigate this situation. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Kay, for joining me. Where can everybody find She Orgasms? Where can we get this? How can they join the community? All right. So if you go to our Instagram page, She Orgasms, S-H-E-O-R-G-A-S-M-S, -S, you can find a link in our bio that'll take you to our Facebook page, the I Am She group. It'll take you to the website, which is the www.sheorgasms.com. Um, it'll take you to some playlists. It'll take you to, I mean, it's just a bunch of things you can go and find. I'm everything She Orgasms. No one else has that name. So if you got to find me, just type in she orgasms, Kay Jones, she orgasms, whatever you need to find me, I'm there. Reach out to me. I love feedback. I love um, comments, concerns, questions, all of it. 
Excellent. I'm so excited. I really feel like this is something everybody could benefit from using. Uh, ladies, if your man gets you some as a gift, please do not feel offended. Please do not feel hurt. I do think it, it might just be, it's almost like if somebody bought you lingerie. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just going to enhance the experience that you are experiencing and you want to try new things. You want to open up to different um, experiences and it's something that you guys can do together. So really like taking those taboo ideas out of your mind and allow yourself to have a good time. I think, you know what I mean? And, and, and say, wow, this was great. And then join the community and come and tell everybody it was great. Cause that's exactly what's going on. <laughs> that's exactly what's going on in there. Yeah. Um, and, and it's so much fun. I actually think that um, that makes it even more exciting to like join a community of people who are doing what you're doing and enjoying and embracing it. Um, thank you so much, Kay, for joining us. Um, she Orgasms is now going to be one of my official sponsors. So they, you're gonna, they're going to hear your commercials now in my podcast. Um, and then you guys will also be able to buy. So the link is there. It's also going to be on my website, on my blog. So you can also tap that button and, and do your orders. Um, and then if you have any questions, you can reach out to Kay or myself because I'm going to um, take them too. And then we can share. Thank you so much, Kay, for being here. I appreciate you. Um, stay afloat. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet Vibrations is the official sponsor of the Say It Loud Ho Bag. Yes, they are. If you didn't know, Sweet Vibrations is an adult boutique that delivers innovative lifestyle products and embraces the taboo of sexual wellness instead of hiding it. Simply put, they inspire each and every one of us to embark on our own sexual wellness journey. Whether it's the girl's best friend, a little pixie, the perfect match, or tulips, there's something for everyone. And you deserve something sweet. So visit their website at www.sweetvibe.toys. Use our Say It Loud discount code, L-O-U-D, loud, for discounts. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Sweet Vibrations. I mean, ladies, we all deserve a good vibe. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Say It Loud. Uh, this uh, uh, segment is brought to you by our favorites, Manscaped. Make sure you guys are escaping your mans or your mandem, however it goes. Uh, make sure when you're shopping Manscaped, you use our code LOUD for 20% off your purchase and free shipping. That's right, 20% off your purchase and free shipping. It doesn't get any better than that. I told you I'll take care, y'all. So for our dropping gems segment today, what we talking about, Kate, we talking about these orgasms. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about February has been very sexy with um, cocky wifey, sexual essentials, she orgasms. And I got more for y'all. I got more. Um, and so I really both men and women, I really want you to hone in on having better orgasms on having healthier orgasms are making sure that both partners needs are met when you are in those situations together right so when you by yourself go ahead make sure you handle your shit for yourself but when you are with your partner making sure that you're taking care of them they're taking care of you and that you're maximizing that time and that space so definitely check out some of the stuff that we have available like she orgasms and taking your vitamins and making sure and there's men that have taken them too by the way guys um we also working with taste there's a link in my bio so that you actually taste better again for men and women um and then sexual essentials was on the show as well you can hit her up i took two of her classes this month guys two classes i'm very proud to say i didn't learn anything <sighs> I knew that already. However, it was just really nice to be in that space with so many other people and learning different things that, um, you know, I, I was more watching than learning because, like, like I said, I, I kind of knew most of that stuff. Uh-huh. Um, but, 
um, it was very interesting to see people in that space and what they needed and where they needed their confidence to be and what they needed to learn. And it wasn't just women in those classes. Um, it was also men in those classes as well. So definitely tap into your inner sexuality, tap into the things that you're comfortable with, open up those conversations with your partner, um, self pleasure to get to know yourself and your body better. So you know what works for you. And then have have those conversations with your partner about what you need and how you need to get there so that you can enjoy your orgasms. You can enjoy the time that you are together. You can enjoy intimacy in more than just sex, but sex too, but different ways to have sex and different ways to be intimate that you enjoy with each other. And th these kinds of conversations, these kinds of podcasts, these kinds of guests allow us to sit in the car on the way to brunch or grandma house, either one, um, and open that up with your partner to have, the, like use this as a diving board and jump in and say, you know what, let's order something, right? I do have the discounts with Sweet, sweet Vibrations and the She Orgasms and the Taste, but it could be, so, uh, and the lingerie, eh? Um, but it could be something as simple as like, yo, let's just try something new. Let's try not being in the bed. Let's try going in the living room. Let's try in the shower in the morning before work, right? And just having those opportunities to connect. Um, and then everything else will flow nicely into the place. Yes, I'm a big advocate for knowing your own body and for pleasuring yourself and knowing your body so that you can then better understand yourself when you're with someone else. So yes. Yeah. So what, what are my thoughts on that? My thoughts are that the best way for you to teach someone what you like is for you to know and know what it takes and how to get there and what works for you and what doesn't. Because a lot of times we, we don't explain that to someone and we just expect them to know, right? And so how are they going to know that? How are they just going to walk into a relationship or walk into that, that, that first time and just know exactly what it is that you need? Not all the time, every man or every woman is the same. And so you can't necessarily carry from one relationship or one experience the same thing into the next one. Because everybody's body is different. Everybody's needs are different. And that's for male and female, right? Some women are just like, oh, well, you know, I'll just suck his dick. That's it. Like, not all men want that, you know? And vice versa. Now, some women don't want you going on. They, they're, not, they're uncomfortable with that. So it's really just knowing yourself and knowing what works for you so that when you are in those situations or you're nearing those situations, you can have those healthy conversations with your partner and set your expectations, set your wish list and the things it is th that you want. And so I'm here rooting for you guys. I am rooting for you guys because I know you're going to be great and... Um, I know February is a sexy, sexy time. Um, so Sayeth Loud has so much going on. If you haven't uh, checked us out, we have Sayeth Loud podcast. We have Sayeth Loud louder subscription is ten dollars a month and it gives you a private rss feed and our private podcast which is just us um close together um you also get our, our quarterly newsletter our subscription box vip access and a whole lot more so if you're interested please head over to my website at www.saveloud.com and uh join the safe louder squad we've also recently dropped our safe sexy uh which is a lingerie line curated by myself so that y'all could get sexy. Uh, so go check that out at sayasexy.com. The link is also on my website. And then coming soon dun, 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 is Sayeth Loud Innovate, which is a uh, teaching platform where I will be teaching a couple things so i'm really excited about that um for the coming months and the work that's going in behind that in the meantime i love y'all get y'all freak on be safe and um i'll holla at y'all next week definitely go check out k get your serums get your tincture get your pills get whatever it is you need to make sure that you have a good time um i'm rooting for y'all hit me yeah please be clear we are popping it off flex your fingers flex your fingers and type up www.saidloud.com now and stay in tune with everything karen l is on the world wide web hit me yeah please be clear
clear we are popping it off. Flex your fingers. Flex your fingers. And type up www.saidloud.com now. And stay in tune with everything. Karen L. is on the World Wide Web. How did I bring my dreams alive? Why, with an Anchor podcast, of course. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor does the hard work and distributes your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can even make money with your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Download the free Anchor app today or go to Anchor FM to get started.